You're listening to the Daily Nugget, dnugget.com for February 6, 2024. It is Tijuana Tuesday, which just means it's an international flavor for the episode. My name's mm-hmm. Andy. Sam, producer, is here. Janelle, um, animal enthusiast, <laughs> is here. And Jen, except who... Except for Vermin. Yeah, except for, well, exactly. especially Vermin. Especially Vermin. <laughs> they enthuse especially. you, don't they, Janelle? <laughs> no. Enthuse is not no, the word. They're... You get... Hold on. There, okay, no. okay. Hold on. I'm going to look up for the uh, definition of enthused. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Okay, okay, maybe Sorry. not. I, I, You know, okay, never mind. Uh, you're right. Okay, because I was thinking enthused would just mean it animates you, but for better or for worse. But enthused means that you, uh, it's it brings you enjoyment, interest, or approval. Right. No, none Easy. of that. Or you're, yeah, <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> None of that is happening. We approve. Does that count? No. I feel like I need the so I can see here what the uh let's see here. Uh, antonym is then. Of, of enthused. Unenthused? Displeasure. Yeah. High quality Hatred radio here, being. folks. High quality radio. <laughs> in in cur- <laughs> aloof. aloof. In curious. <laughs> yeah. Language. You can say that I'm aloof. I'd like to buy yeah. something, and I'm curious. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but anyway, so Janelle, she enjoys animals. It's true. I, She's passionate. Just, just passionate. Not passionate. Just passionate. Not passionate. Because passionate. you could be passionate in a good way or a bad way. Correct. Correct. Okay. She's All right, a, I'll accept. That. She's a passionate, passionate about animals. Janelle Keith, impassioned vegan. <laughs> and, and I'm Jen. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Homeschool correspondent. And mother. The mother of glory. <laughs> mother of glory. <laughs> Ew, that does mother not sound of glory. Good. <laughs> I don't walk, I float. <laughs> anyway, okay. <laughs> I have a spotlight on me at all time. Oh boy. A cargo jet headed to Belgium from New York, hence Tijuana Tuesday, right? <clears throat> International. Had to turn around mid flight after a horse escaped its stall. And got loose with the cargo hold. What? And this is a big boy. This is a there was a Boeing Boeing seven forty seven, so it had some room yeah. to roam. Yeah. I wonder if it was in the upper deck or the lower deck. Uh, it had just started its flight across the Atlantic Ocean when the pilot radioed air traffic control, saying that a horse on board had escaped its stall. Now they said we don't have a problem as of flying wise. But we need to return because we cannot get the horse back secured. Hmm. And due, due to the plane's weight, they had to dump 20 tons of fuel before going back to New York. Oh. So. Really? Now, what, how did the horse get out of the stall? I think a it, better question is, why was the horse on the plane? I've never heard of that. Vacation? Was it a certain kind of <laughs> horse? <laughs> vacation? Going to horse camp or something? Like? Horse what is- camp? What is- <laughs> horse camp? <laughs> Why was the occasion of the? Was there more than one horse? Is it only one horse? Was it equestrian? What, what kind of horse was it? Aren't all horses equestrian? Well, okay, okay, you're right. Um, <laughs> but there are. In- <laughs> Well, I don't know, Sam. Janelle is the horse. She she's the horse expert. The the impassioned horse vegan. I don't eat horse. <laughs> you wouldn't be no no no. You, you wouldn't be you're, vegan you're, if you ate any meat, especially horse. I, I, especially, yeah. but there are some countries that do eat horses. Maybe this is where the horse was going, and it knew it was going there. Mm-hmm. Oh, it was going to Belgium. Do they eat horses in Belgium? Maybe they put them on their waffles. Okay. I know that other countries, it is legal to eat horses. Well, I think it's legal in the U.S. too, isn't it? I do not believe oh, so. Boy. Is it not? Which? Okay, here we go. Which countries eat horse meat in 2024? You may be surprised oh, by my. this. Uh-oh. Oh. China. Kazakhstan, mm-hmm. France. Ooh. Oh, it is oh. a lady. French cuisine. It's uh, 
horse meat is considered exotic meat. <clears throat> really? So it's so only illegal to sell meat, horse meat for human, for commercial human consumption. If you want to raise your own and slaughter it yourself. I'm curious. Does it, does it taste like glue? <laughs> they, the, f- <laughs> That's only after. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Does okay. that mean you're admitting I that? The process. Do you, does that mean Jen, you did eat glue? No, Are you no, asking if I it make that out of horses? Well, yeah, but I'm just wondering if you are more interested. During your time in the School of Glory, <laughs> did you smell and eat glue, or just smell it? I mean, you could make a little pate on a cracker or something. If I could be so swayed, I don't know. Like, I don't know how, like, school lunch was tough during homeschool. Um, But there was, there's, uh, there's this one kid that would regularly, he just thought glue tasted so good. Like, and, and when it came in the little, um, the Elmer's like cup things that you Mm -hmm, twist mm -hmm. off, he would take the, he would take the popsicle stick and he'd just go, look around and then he'd just scoop it out and stick it in his mouth. And I was just like, oh, it's gross. Why are you eating glue? He's like, glue tastes good. You should try the glue sticks. <laughs> no, I've never had glue, I did him like, like, glue glue my hands together and stuff. And they, they weren't the white ones. They were the purple ones. Huh? Uh, I don't know why that's worse, but... <laughs> oh, he was a fancy boy. It wasn't the white ones. It was the purple ones. Believe me, that's taste- like... <laughs> the purple ones can't taste any better, right? <laughs> no, they dry clear. It's the same thing. I, I, They're just more colorful. You know an awful lot about glue. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose I've never thought about this this way, but you know, I, I, I'm pretty sure they have to make all children's school supplies non toxic, and it says non toxic on there. Close to. Mm-hmm. So apparently, it is legal to consume horse meat in a bunch of different states, and it is illegal to consume horse meat in Delaware, Hawaii. Massachusetts and Massachusetts. There we go. Uh, and Rhode Rhode Island. Every other state, it is legal to eat it. And Belgium, just oh so you know, Lord. where where it was going, Brussels, it it is it is legal to eat it there as well. Mm. Wow. So there you go. And here's kind of tender. Oh, that was oh. his last hurrah. He, he knew he out. knew where he was going. <laughs> there could have been more horses. Maybe he was just being social. I, I don't know. I still don't understand the idea of putting a horse on a 747. On a plane. Yeah. Like, I just. I feel like that would stress out any animal. It would. That's the thing, Sam. You're, thank you for bringing that up because it would. Any kind of sudden <laughs> noise or, or movement in that way, they, the horses would start freaking out. My mom has horses and she has. She has to have, she has to tie plastic bags to the fence. Oh yeah, to right. desensitize them. Yeah. So those horses are not going to make it across transatlantic. No. No way. I, I mean, it was a make a wish situation. <laughs> For the horse, your last, <laughs> you're dying. <laughs> the last hurrah! I must <laughs> eat an authentic waffle. Yeah. Take the Belgian the Belgian waffle, <laughs> and then the Belgians will have you on their waffles. Mm. It's the circle of life. <laughs> I wasn't even kind of right. <laughs> <sighs> and that's the nugget. If you're a horse enthusiast, please let us know. Nugget hate mail at gmail.com. It's definitely Jen's fault that this went the direction it went. Mother of glory. And she yeah. is the mother. Yeah. Um, and uh, it's nugget hate mail at gmail.com. And if you want to put Janelle in a 747 in the uh, cargo area with the horses, she would take that flight. Janelle will (laughs) fly anytime, anywhere. Are you sure? She's the one that let them out. (laughs) I I always have my bags packed, yes. Janelle was in the bottom of that 747 screaming, Be free! Be free!